Hi friends! Doing a recording for day three do, 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 of 30 inks, 30 days. We're a tenth of the way there. Yes, feel good, celebrate small things. Um, so I actually used this and then was running out and then refilled a little bit more and then, I don't know, I was playing with it and I ended up like, again with a bunch of ink in the cap that looks like, seriously, it looks like blood. Um, and so this has been a rousing success. Uh, there is the dried, uh, chromatography. That little guy right there, that's from it resting on this. So don't do that. And again, it was Raspberry Rose. So we'll give you a close-up of the splats, which show a fair amount of shading that I didn't really find evident in the writing. And then here is what that looks like. I think it's pretty. And today, today, I got a new pen. So, should we talk about the ink first? Today we're going to do Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine. I chose Aquamarine because that is my birthstone. And uh, I quite like this color also. I believe that's unrelated. But I have a feel. I had an idea just the second it occurred to me that I can do this first using my glass pen. So. I don't know why I chose this to doodle. Um, I regretted it almost immediately. But here we are. Uh, killing it. And then I'm going to, uh, I don't have an automatic pen, so I'm taking a tip from Kathy over at Gadget Stop 321, and I'm going to use tweezers. If you're not, these are not the ones I use on my eyebrows. Not that you were actually feared. But, works surprisingly well. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. Since we can. So you can at least see how I'm doing that every day. I'm not usually using the dip pin though. So, I got a package today from Stilo e Stile, which is in Rome. One day I will visit them. And it is my very first Pelican. Now I'm not gonna lie, I opened this earlier just to make sure, you know, just to check if it was poison. It wasn't poison. It was passion, apparently. I didn't take it all apart. Hey, there's this book in here. It's gonna tell me all sorts of things. Probably like how to fill it. So this is the new Pelican M605 
in the, um, how are you even on here? The black tortoise shell. I was a little bummed to find out that this isn't really tortoise shell, but like acrylic that looks like tortoise shell. It is so lovely and so much smaller than I thought it would be. I got it in a medium because I like broad nibs, but pelicans are supposedly quite broad in general. And so I'm taking a chance and I can, I, mediums are fine also. So like I can live with a medium, but I would like it if it was pretty broad. So I'm going to make sure that I know how to, to, uh, thingy ink this. Look. I don't, don't use hot water, only use cold water. Turn the thing, turn the thing. Okay. Give it a little clean. It didn't want to turn. There was some panicking happening there. Oh, you like that? I'll work my hand right in your view so you could see it. You saw the important parts. Mm hmm. Okay. And I will just go ahead and fill this all the way. clean this off. This is all dirty. Okay. And it filled. Cleaning the collar. This is like always a fairly nerve wracking moment with a new pen. Like you've just spent a ridiculous amount of money on a writing instrument and you're about to find out, holy cow, is that a huge mistake? Do I hate it? Oh, I meant to get a piece of paper to put under everything so I don't get stuff all over my desk. Um, okay. Paper acquired. Let's do this. I meant to set up a thing to like support it so I didn't have to but that obviously didn't happen I did kind of feel like the chromatography for this is not going to be a uh, compelling viewing here because uh, it's probably just blue <laughs> <laughs> although that's interesting because it's not totally true today I learned there's more than just blue in here. There's also sort of a gross green, grayy, greeny gray. Let's 
basically all it's going to do. Put you there. This is already dry. Oh, you're beautiful. Look at this. We're on a new day. A beautiful day. I don't have my protective long sleeve on to get my hand oils off of this. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm nervous. Hashtag. Thirty inks. Thirty days. June 2022, day three, boop, 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 ink, pelican, eagle shine, aquamarine, pen, on M605. Tor. Oops. Tor. Toys. Shell. Black. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I should have got a broad. But I like it. It doesn't feel, I think I would like it a little juicier. And then for today, Marine, noun. This is a, okay. Mm-hmm. A transparent blue green variety of barrel used as a gemstone. Um, and barrel is the same gemstone family that um, Emerald is in and Criso Barrel. Now, for splats. So look, I got paper. Oh gosh, everything's good. Everything is good, I said. Except the angle at which I have to work. These splats are a little juicy. I don't know how to do these as good as Amanda does. Practice, right? By the end of these 30 days, you know what I need is it's just a straw. Did you do the straw art when you like <laughs> blow on it with a straw? Just me? There you go. Those those are splats, okay? They're going to teach us 
I'm going to shake them around. Splats. And remove that paper. Did we already do? I shouldn't make you sit through this. So I won't. Um, look, I don't remember what else I was going to say or do or anything. We have dirty inks, 30 days, the name of the ink, the name of the pen. Here is the ink. Here is the beautiful pen. Don't you love that the clip is the bill of a pelican? Yeah, me too. Can't wait to write with this. It's going to be a beautiful day. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out. See you again. Oh, wait. Here. Let's look at this. I'll put this here. See you again tomorrow for another 30 inks, 30 days. That was for Mana. Bye, everybody.